Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll start straight away with the Chile coach, Pablo Lemoyne, and the captain, Martin Sigren. We'll open the floor straight away for any questions. Please raise your hand and wait for the microphone. Antes de todo, felicitaciones porque yo que se vio de la tribuna el temperamento, sobre todo, pero también la gana de jugar. First of all, congratulations from the stadium. We could see your strong character and your will to play against Samoa. So logically, enter on the pitch. They enter on the pitch as a superior uh, team, but I think it's a great start of the World Cup for you today. What uh, are you retaining today? It's a higher level, and uh, we could uh, see and feel the difference. Y después, este, we could see the difference in, between que, both que teams, que but after that, Chile es, es en, en, I en think, think that El it's a very enriching es, experience es, for es, Chile, y, for y, the Chilean y, rugby y, team. Y Even es, though we are, we are losing, it's a great and fantastic experience es, to leave. That's the objective, the first objective when you are playing rugby. It's our main objective, our main goal is to learn, and I do hope that from one cycle to another from we will have more opportunities to play such uh, games or games like this. A question for both of you, I'd like to, to know how, would, how do you analyze what happened uh, at uh, minute 39? We could see a fantastic first half for you, and the second half, it was tougher and harder for you to play your game against someone. Exactly, we could see a straight, clear difference between first half and second half. In the second half, they had a, clearly other intentions. A they started to destroy what nada, we had errores, uh, built, no and we were starting to have some doubts. So we did too many mistakes. Son, son that que really cost us the, 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 the game. Y, y no, no, no nos logramos conectar. Too many individual mistakes that have an impact on the collective with the great la lack, no lack of connection between, between us. No, no, no and due to this lack of connection, que, we finally uh, paid the price uh, physically. Tática, uh, that's what I'm uh, retaining from that eso, lack of eso, discipline, ta tactical and technical discipline, mostly and mainly. These are the kind of mistakes one cannot do at that level. And I'd like to add, one of the elements that show the level of our game is that we cannot disconnect between, uh, between us. At a lower level, one can have little lacks of uh, connection between each other, but at this level, it's a different story. With the tactical I followed, I established at, uh, at half time, didn't work well, so we need to focus to focus more on that. Thank you. Por el coach, ¿qué pasó con todos los cambios uh, entre los dos tiempos? Y por el capitán, for, cuando... Uh, question for the trainer. What uh, uh, happened in half-time? Another question for the captain. I can see your expression in your face when you came into that room. 
I could French. feel many different emotions. Could you tell us a bit more about that in French? No, no, in Spanish. I'm going to answer in Spanish then. Regarding the, the changes, clearly the changes didn't work well, clearly. We had planned a first half, uh, a closed a closed half, and we were thinking about launching our forward to give more energy in our attack, but it didn't work well. And then on the four uh, substitutes, one got uh, injured, uh, two others rece received a yellow card, so it was uh, not good as a tactical. In terms of leadership, I would say that the team was not ready because we were lacking of discipline, we, there were penalties against us, we allowed those penalties against us. Uh, so, uh, as I, I was saying, it's a high-level game, so every mistake, we have to pay the cost for every mistake we, are, we were making. And, yes, obviously, for me, um, I have a lot of motions. Mm. We were playing against a really high-level team. We were really eager to win that game. But uh, after this feeling of being very close to victory, and finally we, this victory uh, escaped from us, so it's uh, difficult, difficult to, to endure, but uh, we need to learn from that. We need to learn from that uh, defeat, but we still have two matches uh, to go. We need to work hard. It was tough for us. We worked hard to qualify to this tournament, so we need to... Um, focus now on what's uh, going on, and but yet uh, it's hard to lose that game, obviously. It was a great style opposition, but uh, the first half there were more movements than there were movements in the first half. The first half is really satisfying for, for your guests. Uh, yeah, that's right. I think we managed to create some uh, dynamic, some offensive uh, situations with the great uh, attacks. And I think it was good for us, not only in terms of situation, but to, to put pressure onto the other team. And I think <coughs> we managed to respect our game plan and we we gave too many uh, penalties, useless penalties, and we, at the minute 39, we, it's about 17, uh, something like that. So it means that the, we missed our opportunities, clearly. You talked about many things you learn uh, apart from the, the final score. What are the lessons you are taking away from that uh, game, from that match? Thank you. I think it's uh, an important question indeed. It's important to clarify why are we here? What, why did we come here? We came here with the main goal being to perform well and to win. Taking into account that our players are playing in some championship, which are not all of them high level. I think it was important for us to really uh, clearly and quickly understand the rules of the game, what to feel the atmosphere in the stadium and all these, and as well uh, brings a new, new things to handle at uh, emotional level. 
ser un equipo muchísimo más experiente en ese tipo de situaciones que creo que build cuando se habla de experiencia se habla de esto de la vivencia de coming una situación from those uh, experiences so what that we can take advantage of what of everything we could live here during those games thank you we'll go here and then next question behind hello bonjour is it okay in english would you prefer in french french english yeah. uh, in english uh, english for both yeah perfect mm -hmm. um if you have an afp a question regarding to pablo around injuries what's the situation and then another question uh, you'll play england next how much of a step up or different sort of op op opposition are you expecting from them mm, in injury have um we have the the hooker uh, is He's injured, but we don't know yet what happened, but probably have hamstring or something. And, and Videla, you know, the knock. We, we have to, to wait for the HIE uh, uh, protocols and, and make decisions around that. Um, what happened with England? Well, definitely. We have to prepare an intelligent game, you know, we really have to be smart on the way to play against both tier one and nation like, like England. But definitely uh, the, the, the players, they will be prepared for that. I think we have to be, we, we have to watch the videos and, and, and learn about the silly mistakes. and. For, for coming better in the next weekend. Um, yeah, it's, we, we got the two toughest challenges now ahead. Um, first thing I can think about is also playing last season on England. I know they love their... Um, set pieces. Yeah, they, they love their set piece. So obviously we have to go we'll have to work on that after after today. Pablo eh, Fernando Miguel de Aire Santa Fe Argentina. Hola. Mi pregunta como primera línea experto en en circunstancia de scrum. Eh, My question el momento del partido de scrum regarding de error, the error, first line y la sensación de scrum Many mistakes were made in the scrum today, like 16 or 17 scrums throughout the whole game, and we could feel that Chile could never have a good, a good game in the, in the scrum game, while meanwhile Samoa could take those scrums at their advantage. So what is your feeling regarding uh, in this regard? And how this uh, things you have to learn from the scrum uh, tactical would uh, help you for the next games? As I like to say, there is a physical aspect in all that. All the Samoan players play in the main uh, leagues, and leagues and championships, uh, mostly the, uh, for, for most of their forwards. So maybe we managed to handle one or two scrums. But it's uh, really tough and difficult to dominate. Uh, against such a team. What we need to do is be better perform. We could uh, get the ball. We could develop some games platform. We managed to have kind of a control. The discipline we were lacking of discipline against Japan. But I think that every uh, First level team, I think we will be able to, um, to lead on the, on the scrum against every uh, first level team as a first as an ex uh, forward play myself. It's a game, a game I really I really enjoy. But I think the opponent was clearly better than us today to in this uh, aspect of the Chile game. So we, uh, we clearly need to work harder Very on that. Very shortly we'll have the Samoa coaching captain joining us. Thank you.